Well, welcome. Hey, glad you guys could make it. Uh, we're going to start Jasper Active Excel Lesson 2 today. And it looks to me like there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 different exercises. I'm going to see how many I can combine into shorter video clips so you don't have to go through 12 different videos for some of these. I know some of them are going to be really fast. Uh, others might take a little bit of time and there might be some work, but but we'll go through as fast as we can. So uh, also I want to mention that when I blew through the quiz, I got one out of 15 and it still didn't show me all 12. So make sure you hit activate all. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Uh, exercise one, editing cells and undoing changes. All right. So first it says save the workbook. So file, save as, and we need to go to Jasper Active and my project. So if I click right up here, I can click Jasper Active again, see all the folders, double click my projects, and we need to call it my travel destination. So I'm just gonna take the word world out and type capital M Y for my travel destinations and then click save. All right, here we go. Step two. First, you notice that Egypt and France, uh, Egypt and Paris and France and Cairo, that's not right. So there's some issues here. So click on cell B8, B8 right there with cell B8 selected and type Cairo. And as soon as I type C-A-I, it says, oh, do you mean Cairo? So I'm just going to hit enter. And that puts me in B9. And for this one, I'm going to type Paris. Now, autofill won't do it because it doesn't say Paris anywhere in that list anymore. So you have to type that one all the way out. Now it says select cell A2. I'm just going to use the arrow keys and go up to A2. And it says Argentian. Well, that's not right. So what I need to do is now on the keyboard, press the function two key and watch what happens. I am not touching the mouse here, right? Look, my mouse is on my face there. So I'm not touching the mouse. I am going to press F2 and notice as soon as I did that, the cursor is flashing in cell A2 at the end of the word. So what I'm going to do is hit backspace twice and I'm going to type NA so it reads Argentina and then press enter. So I did not use the mouse for any of that. I just used the keyboard. All right, that gets us to the next one. Step three, edit cells. Now it says make some corrections. Select cell C4. C4 right there with C4 selected, enter 30,510, so 30510, and then press enter. Notice I didn't type a comma, but as soon as I hit enter, it put one in there for me. Then select cell C3 and type, or excuse me, press F2 to edit. And then you're gonna press the home key up above your arrow keys. And notice the cursor changes from the end of that number to the beginning of that number. This is important. And now type 768. And then press enter. And notice the value changes to 7,686,850. Again, I did that without clicking. Anywhere with the mouse, I just use F2 to put the cell into edit mode. Now I'm using the mouse to click right here. And here we go, edit date values. So select cell B22. Notice it's 2, 16, 2 May 16. And what we're going to do is press F2 to put it into edit mode. Press the home key 
or you can press the left arrow key and you're going to uh, change the month value from five to six. So I can press the delete key and then type the number six and press enter. Notice now it changed it from May to June. Edit cells step number five. Now it says use the F2 key, the left arrow, the right arrow, the delete, the backspace, and other keyboard keys as necessary to correct all the cells listed here. So in the direction cell should be A5 should read Brazil with a Z. So I'm going to click just I had to click on it just to make Excel active. So I clicked right in cell A5. I'm going to press F2 function 2 key to put it in edit mode. And then I'm going to use the left arrow twice, and then the backspace key and the Z. And then I'm going to use the arrow keys. And I'm going to go to A10, oop, hit enter, and then go to A10, Germany. And let's press F2. And I'm going to hit the home key, and then the right arrow key, and then the delete key. Notice, delete key deletes the character to the right if you're using the backspace key, it deletes to the left. So I'm just going to hit the delete key to get rid of that H and then hit enter. Uh, let's see, A14 shouldn't be Italian. It should be Italy. So I'm going to press F2. And backspace, and just add a Y after the L. Then enter A20. Shouldn't be United States if America, it's of America, right? So F2, and I'm just going to use the left arrow key, backspace, and type an O where that I was. So it's United States of America. Now B14 says Roman, so press F2 to enter, backspace, backspace, and letter E. Make it Rome. Hit enter. B19. Landon. Oh, goodness sakes. Who typed this thing up? Press F2. And I just use the left arrow key because it's quick. London. Ooh. And it's not London. London. It's London. So make sure you change both of those. Uh, let's see. C13. Let me hit enter. Arrow key. C13, India, 3,207,590 uh, should be 287. So F2 and arrow over. So 3,287,590, press enter. Then I need to go up to Hong Kong size and it should be 1092 so f2 home and delete delete and then enter so now mine looks like theirs let's click next and the last task says suppose you change your mind at this point and you need to reverse the last change. So on the quick access toolbar, so let me click to make Excel the active application and click the undo button. And notice Hong Kong has changed back to 101,092. If you then decide the change was actually collect correct, you can redo. So notice now in the quick access toolbar, I can redo typing and it changes it back to 1,092. Let's submit it and get it. There it is, 100%. Can we cut, copy, and paste data that quick? I don't think so. I'm not going to try and combine this one. Maybe next time.